This video was recorded live on my Twitch channel. Check out all of my live streams down in the description below. Time for us to do the International B mission races. So five more missions here. We have Supercar Battle, Historic Race Car Battle, Kicking Up Dust Battle for Toscana, Motorsport Heaven Battle for Ascari, and the Old Meets New Lamborghini Showdown at Brands Hatch Indy? All right. So first up, the Supercar Battle at Autumn Ring. And we have ourselves a Suzetta V16T, AKA the Giorgio Moroder car. In case you don't know who he is, he's an old school EDM DJ. And if you ever played Grand Theft Auto Liberty City Stories, the entire, I, I want to say the entirety of Flashback FM is all Giorgio Moroder songs, which is interesting. Which, screw it, he has cool songs anyways. So we're going to that weird loop section of Autumn Ring, where it goes like over the bridge or whatever. And we're going to be battling a Lamborghini Countach and something else. Man, we were just kicking up a shit ton of wheel spin. Oh, and a 512BB. Very cool. We caught him at the bus stop here. That's not good. God damn it. Is the finish line ahead? Yes, it is. Come on, come on, come on. Enough wheel spin. We're good. That was easy. That was really easy. Nine thousand credits. I'm gonna save the replay here just in case I use a thumbnail for this one. I might get the thumbnail from the next mission race in particular. But anyways, on to mission race number two. So here we are with the second mission, historic race car battle, which is the entire first sector right before the Molson Strait at Circuit de la Sarthe, and we're gonna be driving the Jaguar XJ13 race car. Okay. So, this is my third attempt. The first attempt was actually a fail because I actually got disqualified for, for being off track. Okay, yeah, we're going to win this one now. And, yeah, uh, I was so used to, you know, the Gran Turismo sport lines of um, track limits. I guess they're even harsher here in GT6. But the second one, I got stuck behind the Ford GT40 that you just saw there. And I almost got gold still, even be even with being stuck behind the GT40. A whole half a second faster. Very nice. So yeah, this one wasn't difficult. It was just more like, okay, I got stuck behind one car, and then I didn't know what the track limits were because Gran Turismo Sport GR Super Cup experience. But anyways, mission number three. So here we are for the third mission for this battle for Toscana and we're in the Audi Quattro S1 once again. It's that section of the rally circuit and yeah, let's go. So actual first attempt here. Um, I jump cut it because I forgot to turn off the TCS beforehand. I noticed that when I went into the corner and when I got on the throttle here that the car was not accelerating. I was like, wait a minute. Oh, the TCS is on. Oh shit. But yeah, we're good. So yeah, um, I'm going with Chase Cam on this one because I I mentioned before, I mentioned in the previous um, I want to say aborted attempt that we already used the cockpit cam at the Goodwood Festival of Speed with this car, so I might as well show off the, the bumper cam, right? Or bumper cam, Chase Cam, I mean. Forty-eight seconds way clear of the um, gold time. I wonder what the gold time or uh, what our run would have looked like if we kept the TCS on. We would have probably either have gotten close to like 50.9 or maybe even a silver. Anyways, race number four. So back to a scurry for mission number four and it's this section. I don't know what the hell it's called. It's just this section. Oh yeah, TCS. Let me turn it off before I forget again. Okay, we're trying this again. I fucked up. 
I got on the throttle too soon out of one of the corners and spun. It was an easy gold otherwise. But yeah, anyways, I'm using Chase Cam because we drove this car in Gran Turismo 5 in the La Festa Caballino, so you've seen the cockpit enough. Three whole laps around Monza. It was that corner where I oofed it last time around. Easy gold. It would have been easy gold last time around if I didn't spin. But anyways, that is the fourth mission down. Only one more to go in the B license section, and here it is. So here we are, two whole laps around Brands Hatch Indy in the Lamborghini Mira. We have a modern Lamborghini joining us on the field to just hold us up and be a nuisance, but here we go. Okay, I'm foolish. I had this freaking gold locked down, and I ran slightly wide in the second lap. Coming out of turn three, I, I clipped the grass just a tiny bit, and that gave me a disqualification for off track. But anyways, here's the Mira. We're, we're facing against the Mercy Lago. We're already going to get past the Mercy Lago before this corner. Wow, okay. Last time I passed him into three, but this time around, this is where I failed, by the way, because I took too much grass. I, I clipped the grass, just to say. I didn't take too much grass. Any amount of grass is an automatic DQ in that section. Anyways, here's the Mira. We get a cute horn. We already drove this car in Grand Turismo 5. In the Grand Tour, I believe. So I'm going to do the roof cam for the second lap. And so that way I can see more of the track. And get my revenge for my own stupidity. Into Druids. Really good line. Nice and tight. Good exit. Turn 3. You want to break at the sign on the right. Turn in a tad bit early, but the exit should be good. Yep, exit was pretty good. Let's lift in this corner. We don't need to use brakes. Let's keep the car stable. Hard on the brakes for the final turn here. And for your final flying lap, you want to stay on the very right side of the course in order to cut the amount of space used. And there we go. 144.5. I think the timer was going down when, um, damn, okay, look at the mirror's eyelashes. Eyelashes are on fleek, but, um, I want to say that the timer kept running down when the, when the Mercy Lago went ahead. But anyways, that is the fifth and final mission of the International B License section, and prize card time. Oh boy, what do we get? Uh, slow on the uptake played before the prize card selection screen, that sucks. Ooh, we got a Los Elise race car in 96. Very cool. Maybe we'll use it at some point, maybe not, we'll see. Yeah, we'll get in it, why not? Ooh, listen to that thing. Maybe not because Rhino, I know Rhino used it and I, you know, I want to use a different car because I want to be different. But, uh, yeah, that is it for the mission races in the International B License section. We are currently at 48% of the way down, almost to that magical halfway point. So thank you so much for watching this episode of GT6. Really appreciate it. Next time on the LP, we will be taking a look at the Supercar Festival.